Hi everybody, Lemkin here. Today's video is going to be a little bit of a silly one because today I just want to kind of go over some of the easter eggs and the gimmicks uh, regarding law in Tekken 8. Um, so these are, by gimmicks I mean these are, these are not really things that are going to be like usable in a, in a fight uh, or they're going to be highly situational. So, um, but, but these are still some cool things I, I thought that you should know about if you are a law enthusiast. Um, so first off is, is a Easter egg, and uh, to show this one, I actually have to go into my restart settings real quick, and my player status. So the, yes, there we go. Okay, so one uh, in Tekken 8 and in previous Tekken games as well. Actually, I don't remember when they introduced this. This has been a thing in Tekken for quite a while. But Law he has a secret uh, get-up animation that's not in the move list, where if you press uh, all of the action buttons at the same time when fi face down, uh, or sorry, when on the ground in a face-up position, uh, he will get this uh, secret get-up animation right here. And this is, of course, a reference to Game of Death uh, with uh, Bruce Lee, right, where he uh, he fights uh, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar at the top of the pagoda in the, in the movie, and he gets kicked to the ground, and then he gets up like this. So this is a Bruce Lee reference, a pretty cool one at that. And now I wouldn't recommend doing this, uh, because you are vulnerable doing this animation. You can't block or anything, and you can't cancel the animation, so... <laughs> it's not really a viable get-up animation. It's just a cool little secret that they put in the game. And he does do like different sounds when he gets up uh, from this animation as well. Ooh. <laughs> 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 it's just funny. <laughs> so that's a cool, a cool little uh, Easter egg to his uh, his uh, character origin, uh, like as a Bruce Lee inspired character. That's kind of. Kind of funny. Another little uh, Easter egg I wanted to show here. Let's see. Let's actually put the tag in for one here. There. So another little. Uh, this is this is uh, also I guess I don't know if you can call it an Easter egg, but so about grabs in this game, like all the generic grabs in the game, as a rule of thumb, they all do 35 damage. For like this one, this is uh, one plus three. It's two plus four, does 35 damage, and then. Like, uh, command throws usually do like 40 to 45 damage. Um, and then side side throws always do 40 damage as well. And back turn throws always do 50 damage. And when, when I say always, there are exceptions to this rules, but this is like a general rule of thumb, that's how it works. But Law, actually, his sidestep uh, left grab, uh, or his the right hand side for the opponent, it actually does 42 damage rather than 40 damage as uh, the only move in the game and that's because this is his uh, ball buster grab this one right here and it does 42 damage because it does f one extra damage for each uh, testicle <laughs> so that's a kind of funny that they included that as well now it does uh, it does deal 42 damage on female characters as well so that's a little bit uh, uh, that's a little bit weird right although you i guess you could say that it does one extra damage in that case for like one extra damage for each ovary or something if he reaches a little further <laughs> up there <laughs> i don't know i should uh <laughs> i've got sorry i'm sorry about it. i've got to stop i will move on real quick um okay so this next uh this next gimmick i want <laughs> this this next thing i want to show is uh actually his key charge cancel so you you know you probably know like most other characters. Law has a key charge if you press all the action buttons at the same time. Actually, let me just um, turn on my uh, my command history. Really, really. There you go. But Law he can actually uh, charge his key charge uh, by pressing and holding it like this. And then he'll, he'll like overcharge and go into this like animation. <laughs> where he loses all his energy but this this key charge uh, hold, hold this key charge charge actually has two stages this first part if you just tap it right here but then if you hold it he does this sound wow and when he does this sound is actually when you can cancel this key charge animation so uh, by you can for example by pre pressing and then spamming one you can cancel the animation uh, by do he, he will do his up forward one move the eye jab right here the poke oh. 
you see, and this is why it's also uh, possible to do. If if you've seen previous uh, my previous setup video, you know this is how you do the the back turn uh, setup where you make people whiff and then counter hit launch them with the back turn two. Um, so that's how that works actually. But he can also from this uh, key charge, if you press and hold it and wait on when he says that sound, that right, uh, that one right there. As soon as he says that, you can cancel the animation by pressing two as well, and he will get the DSS neutral tool. You see? And this will always counter hit launch, because it is a counter hit launcher, this move right here, and because he key charges, he gets automatic counter hit properties. So I guess, I suppose you could, in theory, bait people into thinking that you, like, uh, miss input at a key charge or something, then charge it, and then get them, when they run in, get them with the... the counter hit launcher right but I wouldn't recommend doing this like again it's very situational it's you're never ever going to use this or see this I, I bet but uh, at least now you know that it, it that it exists right and a similar thing exists with his uh, unblockable actually uh, they so they changed his uh, the input of his unblockable in this game it used to be down back one plus two but now it's uh, back dash or the back back two plus three like this and this unblockable right, unblockable right here, you can actually cancel this and go into his uh, DSS stance by double tapping back while in the uh, charge up animation, like this. And this can be, uh, of, of, of what I've shown so far, this is probably the most quote unquote usable. I, again, I wouldn't recommend doing this. Uh, let's change to the wall here, but you could do, in a, if you wanted to, if your heart so desired. Uh, let's put them to. You could do a setup, uh, something like this. Oh, let me see. Something like that, right? To get wall pressure. Or w whatever, right? The, th the thing is that people are prone to stepping this uh, because this animation is high. It's very linear. Uh, the the unblockable is very steppable, so. Uh, they're gonna step your your forward one. Uh, they're gonna step your legend kick, whatever, right? So again, not something I would recommend doing, but now you know that it it is in the game. Now this last one is kind of usable, but it's very situational. So I'm gonna have to let's see change my switch positions for here because uh, because this actually has to do with the wall. So this is not really law specific because every character has this in some way. Uh, shape or form, but it can be different from character to character, and right now I'm talking about the wall jump mechanic. So, in case you didn't know, there's a wall jump mechanic in Tekken 8. The way, the, the way you do a wall jump is that you, you when you have your back against the wall, you can back dash, do a back dash input, so double tap back, and then immediately after double, uh, double tapping back, you press up forward, right? So it's, it's gonna look like this. Boom, right there, that's a wall jump. And then he will do this little attack, he will run up the wall and do like a fine kick and knock the opponent to the ground. And different characters have different wall jump uh, attacks, but this is Laws right here. And now Laws actually has this uh, interesting thing where... Let me see... Um, the ground technique here. Now, the opponent has a bunch of different options, but only two of them will actually uh, be advantageous to them. So they can back roll this, quick back roll, like that, to get out of your pressure, or they can quick recovery, which nobody nobody's going to do this, by the way. But th these are the only two options they have. If they do anything other than th those two options, you get a guaranteed up forward uh, free plus forward. This one. You have to micro dash, by the way, to get this. <coughs> like this. And again, if you saw my law breakdown on my setups video, you already know that if you get a up forward free plus four on a downed opponent, on a grounded opponent, you also get the guaranteed nunchuck thing unless they stand straight up. And you can uh, potentially get a counter hit nunchuck here as well, right? So this is actually quite strong right here. But again, it's, it's, it's very situational. So that's how that works. Um, yeah, so I hope that... Uh, I hope that you found that uh, video like useful or uh, uh, funny or uh, <laughs> whatever. And if if you wanna see me do something more like this in the future, well, I guess let me know. Uh, but other than that, uh, I hope to see you soon. So have a good one.